All right. Uh, welcome to Frank Teaches Devils. All right. All right, uh, guys. Um, welcome. You are welcome to Frank Teaches Devils. So, uh, in this, um, this is just um, um, a spin-off. All right. So this is just a bonus. I call it a bonus package. A bonus package. All right. On how to integrate Datadog with AWS. All right. So now the the objective of uh, this this course is um is for you to be able to monitor AWS resources using what Datadog. Monitor. AWS resources using data dog not far where are you the focus is to monitor AWS services services please services using using what data dog all right so let's get into the integrity of the entire process okay so now cancel i i have my data dog account yes my data dog account i also have my uh what's it called uh my aws account okay so i want to integrate my aws towards data dog so this is what i will do so i'll hop onto my data dog and i'll go to integration i'll click on what integrations all right. So once I click on integrations, I'm going to have um, I'm going to get this page. This page you see here. Okay. Come on, come on. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to get this page. So once you have this page, just search for the provider, the service. Uh, the service is AW. Sorry, AWS. And you're going to see Amazon Web Services. All right. So. At present, it is available, but it's not installed. So I'll click on install. Click on install. And uh, I'll go to configuration. So these are all the services I want to integrate. All right. Great. Then I'll come to this section, AWS account. All right. I'll now click on. There are two options, role delegation and <clears throat> access keys, uh, government cloud or China only. So this government cloud or China only is uh, is mainly for private clouds, all right? Government uh, organizations and um, China. So in China, what runs in China is just private clouds, all right? So don't have access to uh, this. Um, we're not running a private cloud or a government cloud, so we don't need this option. So the option we shall work with is role delegation so on role delegation we have two other options we have the automatically using cloud formation and manually however aws recommend using what cloud formation but in this episode in this course uh we we won't be going the route of um cloud formation we shall see how we can um, do it manually all right so let's click on manually and let's go there Okay, now there's a documentation for this. Enter your role delegation information below or take a look at our document. So let's look at this document and see. Right click and open in a new window. Let's take a look at the document. Go to that document. Let's scroll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, now this is where we are now role delegation and then um, this part where we are on role delegation so if you are using a um, cloud formation it just goes straight to cloud formation all right let me check what they have on that cloud formation okay this is the guide you can click here to take it to the cloud formation guide this is this is for cloud formation. Okay. This is for cloud formation. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, but I don't want to go the route of cloud formation. I want to go the route of the manual method. Okay. Okay. So in the manual method, they say we should create a new role in I am console. Let me close this. Okay. Create a new role and select. All right, let's 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 go that. Let's go there. So I'll go to AWS and I'll say I am. Click on I am. So I'll go to roles, create a role, okay? And the role should be AWS accounts, all right? And click on AWS accounts. Let's see. Let's see what they say here. All right, select another account, okay? So click on accounts and click on select another AWS account. So select this option and provide an account ID. So now, um, um, Datadog has a default account ID. For account ID, enter this value. They have a a a a default account ID for this integration. So I'm going to copy that default account ID. I'll come over here. I'll paste the account ID here. All right. Then they say all the, they also went further to say that uh, I may have to require enable uh, require external ID. So if I enable this option, I'll see what external ID. So this external ID is somewhere. Go back to your data dog. So this is your AWS external ID. So copy this ID, copy that ID, go back to your IAM creation and paste the ID here. That's all. Now click on what's next. Now it's now requesting us to what to attach a policy. All right, a policy. Now, um, okay, we are on step four. Next is permission. Now, this is step six. If you've already created a policy, search for it. However, we have not created this policy. Okay, so what I will do, um, I'm going to I'm going to skip to step 10, I'll come back to step six, step five. I'll skip to step 10 and create that policy. So for that purpose, I'm going to open another AWS terminal and AWS uh, console, uh, go to IAM policies and um, create policy, okay? I want to create a new policy. Let's create a policy, okay? Go to JSON. All right, now come back to the document. So the document says what? Now, let's go to, sorry, uh, step seven. Step seven, all right? Okay. Now click on create policy, which opens a new window. Select the JSON tab, which you just did. Now to take advantage of every AWS integration offered by Datadog, use policy snippet so there is a policy snippet which you are going to use so right click on this open a new tab so here is the policy snippet now you, you what you want to do now you want to target this policy target all aws services it targets all aws services so all you need to do just copy this snippet copy it oh sorry Copy this policy. Great. Right click, copy. Then come to come to here yeah, and paste it. That's it. Now click on next. Let's check policy name. That's all. All right. Click on next. Um, there's no tag. Next to review. Then give it a name so we can say data dog AWS integration policy. All right, so we can say this policy policy um, monitor all of AWS 
services. AWS services. Okay. All right. So once we are through, click on what creates policy. Okay. Uh, why is it all AWS services? That was uh, my grammarly at work. So click on create policy. That should uh, quickly create that policy. It's being created. Great. Now that the policy has been created, we need to attach this policy to our role. So go back to this um, tab and refresh this page. Now look for your policy data. Enter. Select this policy. Now come back to this uh, document. Come back to the documents. I'm through with this. Now we were on six. If you have already created the policy, search for it on this page and select it. All right. Then skip to step 12. All right. So we're going to select that policy now. All right. So now come back. This is the policy. All right. Now, once it's selected, click on what's next. Click on next. They say we should skip towards step 12. This, this part is optional. So step 13 says, click on next tag. All right, so let's go back to there. So we're going to give the role, the role name. So we'll say beta dog um, integration row all right uh description this row integrates integrates data dog with aws all right okay so that's the row that's all yes your policy attached now click on what create row The role is being created. The role has been created. So let's go back to our documentation, which says, all right, so give the role a name, this, okay? Then click on what's create role. Once all of these has been created, you are all set. Now go back to Datadog. So on the Datadog side, okay? Now select role delegation. So let's go back to Datadog. So here is Datadog. Select role delegation, which you have done. Now, the Account AWS account ID. So this account ID is my default account ID. So that should be um, data. My account ID is this. That is it. Copy it from here. I'm going to paste that account ID there. Then the role name, the AWS role name. Mind you, the role name is um, case sensitive. So what's was the role name. So here's the role name, Datadog Integration Role. So this is the role name. Copy it, come back here, and paste it. That is it. So now it's trying to check for the account credentials. Account credentials are valid. Scroll down and press integration to complete. So they are all valid. They are all valid. So the next thing we now do now is what we click on what integration that's all that's all it's all valid so now click on what integration so the moment you click on integration is now updating the aws integration so let's let for wait for a while it takes some okay it's already done now aws integration successfully updated all right so now once we've done that just click on close, click on close and refresh your browser. Refresh your browser. And go to all to filter it and check for install. So click on install. You will see that these are all AWS services that has already 
be integrated in your environment. These are all the services. So if I go to um, dashboard, let me see if it's picking up anything. Go to dashboard. I should have some metrics already. Uh, go to dashboard. Um, let me see. Do I have anything on EC2 instance? Let me check. Let me check. Show no data. How can I not show no data? Uh -huh. All right, let me go back. Give me some services. So these are all the um, integration we've done so far. Just one sec, please. It's supposed to show me. I have these in my environment. Um, EC2. So this is how you integrate um, integrate AWS with um, with Datadog. Datadog. Okay, all right. So um, that has been set up. So let's go to integrations. Go back to integrations. Uh, go back to integrations, and um, because I have some res some services in my environment. So uh, these are installed um, integrations. Um, so let me search for EC2. EC2 instance. I have some EC2 instances. Oh, 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 okay. This integration was recently installed or updated. Please wait at least five minutes for data to appear. So, okay. It has been set up, but it's asking us to wait for five minutes for data to appear. Let me look for other services. Let me look for RDS. RDS, because I have some um, setup on um, RDS. Okay, this integration is working properly. It has been set up. Okay, RDS is fine. Now let's let's go and check. It's now working overview. Let's see what they say here. Okay, let's let's see. Let's now um let's go back to EC2. EC2. Okay, it's now working properly now. Now let's go to the dashboard and see if we can see anything on the dashboard, dashboard list. Let's see. If you can see anything on the dashboard list, let's see. Uh, EC2. There are seen. Takes time. Let me let me pause it and I'll be right back. Let me pause it. Thank you. 
Okay, all right, all right, guys. <clears throat> so and now that everything has sync, let's check. Let's go back to EC2. Uh, let's go back to EC2. Great. So, um, uh, EC2 service status 11, active EC2 instances 79. Um, okay. Uh, 41 T2 micro. Let's let's drill down. T2 micro. Let me check. View in full screen. Uh, let's check. <clears throat> Overview of all of these for the past four hours. Now let me check for the past um, for the past day. Should get something. Um, let me go out of here. Let me check some metrics. I don't know. I'm not getting some metrics. Uh, time control metrics. I'm not getting some metrics. For the past four hours, these values are for the past four hours. All right, let me look for another service. Um, RDS. RDS. Connections, zero connections. Replication, um, lag, read. All right, so let's see. No disk usage, nothing. Sorry. 11, let's see, 
All right, so so far we can now see how um we've been able to integrate um AWS with um Datadog. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, and um have you uh see you in the next um episode.